Back in 2021, I had the idea of going off grid and living in nature and also living small. But since then, we've transformed this cargo trailer into a stealth Japanese style tiny house. And I promise you, you're gonna wanna watch this video to the very end. I was scouring the internet as I always do. Looking for tiny houses on Facebook Marketplace, I changed my location to get more results. And then I hit the jackpot. The owner of this tiny toe used it to haul his motorcycles for weekend rides. Taking this tiny toe to North Carolina, North Georgia mountains. Also, I live in the Palm Beach area for a month with my partner, Austin. Our tiny house has made us a lot of memories. What was once a place for storage now is a place for an adventure. Let's see what's inside. But first, we got to go shopping. We live in this store. So we're buying more supplies to put in the tiny toe to make it more luxurious. We need this heater. I'm contemplating which coffee maker to put inside. Austin suggests a carrot would be better and easier for people to use. Cart number one and. Did you do this? You put all this in here? Well, I think this space is gonna be super nice. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it does match your shirt. Austin and I designed this space with comfort in mind. We added some carpet here, a large carpet, gray carpet, and then we added a little accent carpet back here for the kitchen sink and the refrigerator area. One thing that we're gonna add next is a mattress. This is a full size. We think that a queen size mattress would be a little bit too big in here, but a full size mattress could sleep. Not it could, it will sleep two people. You may have to get a little snuggled up with each other, but you definitely would fit. And we want it to be like a very nice, intimate camping experience for people. To be out in the woods and nature, having all your amenities, hot water, cold water, nice mattress, Wi-Fi, TV. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe this mattress is that comfortable. It came from Walmart. You know, I do love Walmart. Uh, they've worked for me before, but this is soft. This is like a memory foam mattress and it already has a liner on it, so it protects it. But we're gonna give it an added protector by putting another mattress protector on in case if somebody wastes some wine or some beer or something like that on it, it will stay nice, healthy, and clean for a long period of time, which is what we're aiming to do. Whenever you put a mattress on the floor, make sure you have a nice mattress protector on it. I know in the Japanese culture, they like sleeping on the floor, and this is where we got the idea from. We love being like low to the floor, plants and everything around us, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh, he's already asleep. Wake up, Austin. Wake up. You went to sleep so fast. It feels so good. Now, let's put on an additional mattress protector, pillows, pillow protectors, pillowcases, and quilt. Whew, that's a lot. And here is the final look for the bed. This artwork on the wall reminds me of meditation and an energy field. We added a diffuser, this peaceful statue, plants, essential oils, and all the good vibes. This is for towels and linens. An exhaust fan, which has a vent on the exterior. The television for streaming YouTube or Netflix. Now we're in the kitchen. My favorite feature in the kitchen is the LED lighting panel. And you can change the colors for mood lighting. And the remote even sticks to the wall when you're finished. There's a microwave and also a propane cooktop. 
there's that Keurig machine plus complimentary coffee and tea. Next, we have the sink for washing dishes, which is hooked up to the water on the property. More on that later. Below the counter sits the mini fridge. We use this space for extra storage and it houses the breaker boxes too. However, a net your head composting toilet can fit inside to make it a bathroom. Excuse me, I'm gonna need some privacy here. You can literally pull up anywhere in this tiny tote. I remember I was filling up my Jeep, getting some gas, and this lady saw the inside of it. I was stepping out the door and she said, baby, that's a little bit of house inside, ain't it? I just chuckled and I kept it moving. Let's get into the exterior of the tiny house. A Wells cargo trailer, which is so much cheaper than an RV. There's a two inch ball for towing. It is not a dual axle, which a lot of enclosed trailers are. This is a single axle. It doesn't weigh that much, so it's easy to pull. At the time, I didn't want to buy an expensive RV because one thing is I didn't have the money to afford an expensive RV. And having something that no one knew what was inside of it actually excited me because I could go all across the country and people would only think it was a tool shed or something that you could just store anything in or even a blank box. We hook up the water from our property here. There's two options if you want to take a shower. There's an off-grid option, and we also built a shower here on our homestead. The off-grid option we're using is a portable shower from Geyser, which comes with everything you need. Even the soap is included. You can hook this portable shower to your car using a cigarette lighter port. Following their instructions, the water you fill the shower with must be at a certain temperature before use. Now you're ready to go. And for privacy, grab a pop-up pod. This is our private outdoor shower. And this is how we built it. First, I started by digging the trench. Then I cut the already existing line and added a T to go towards a new direction. Now I started digging to set the wooden poles for the stall. With the help of my friend Red, we started building and screwing in the boards. Now it's time to stain it. I chose a dark brown stain to complement this area. And I'm satisfied with how it turned out. Let's go back inside to see more features. This heat and cooling fan keeps the temperature perfect. Plus, the television has a swivel mount where you can even get a better view. To open the trailer, set these two pieces down here where the door will lay down. We're nomads and when we travel, we have nature as our office and do our work outdoors. And sometimes we nap with the trailer open. Now let's make a fire. I love sitting in front of a fire and especially preparing one. Nothing complements a fire like a hot beverage. Oh. We can even watch a movie as well. This is just perfect. This tiny house is perfect if you're traveling around the country like we do. Also, it's a money maker. We put the tiny house on Airbnb. We created a new listing by answering all the questions and voila. That's French if you didn't know that.
the tiny house has been one of our most popular listings at Glamping Remote. And the booking link is in the description. We just recently listed it and our guests love it. If you like this video and you're inspired by it, comment below and tell us which part you like the most. This tiny toe, also tiny house, can save you a lot of money versus buying an RV. So think about buying one of these before you spend all your hard earned cash because you can travel around the country, around the world, or you can make money like we're doing. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Peace.